Now we're going to see the concepts of tax basis and at risk basis. These are topics that for sure I was not too familiar on when I uh, sat for the exam myself, but somehow I got through it and had to go back, become an expert at them in order to teach them here. And these are concepts that are important not only for this lesson, but they will be important when we get to S Corps and partnerships, flow through entities, all that stuff. We see, again, why are we talking about S Corps and partnerships a lot? Well, we're dealing with passive activity here, and passive activity comes from flow through entities such as those. Now, it could be active income from those as well, but we'll talk about that a lot more within those lessons. Here, recourse liabilities, non recourse liabilities. We're just understanding what the difference between these two are, and then we'll see their implications. So, first off, recourse liabilities. Simply put, these are debts to which the creditor can come after you personally. So, if I put money into a partnership, and then I take out debt, and for whatever reason it's recourse, right? You can negotiate what type of debt it is. Recourse debt is more attractive to creditors because they can come after you personally. So let's say there's not enough money from the partnership that's going bankrupt to pay the loan, they can come after your personal house, your car, et cetera. So they, you are personally on the hook for this. It doesn't just end at the entity. So these are debts for which one or more partners are personally liable. That's important to note. If the partnership defaults on the loan, if they on that particular loan, or if they go completely bankrupt, or if the partnership liquidates, the lender, the creditor, can pursue the liable partner or partners for repayment, even if it means collecting from their personal assets. So we think about uh, with corporations, just as an example, if a corporation goes bankrupt, the shareholders, no one's coming after their personal assets. That's not how that works. The whole point of uh, something like an entity like that is to protect you from liability. However, if you're in a partnership and you have a recourse liability, you can have your assets seized by these creditors. In a partnership, recourse liabilities are allocated to partners based on the respective profit sharing ratios or according to the partnership agreement. Again, we're going to dive into this a lot more and see examples how it works. Here is an example. Well, a partnership takes out a $100,000 recourse loan and partner A and partner B are both personally liable for the loan. Again, why would this happen? Well, uh, you might go to a bank and the bank says, yeah, okay, we, I know you want a loan, but we will give you a better interest rate if it's a recourse loan. And why is that? Well, because it's preferable for the bank, because if the partnership defaults, then the bank can come after these individuals. So it just you know, with debt, there's a lot of negotiating that happens, a lot of different ways debt can go. Higher or lower interest rate is a convertible debt well, for corporations mostly. Is it going to be recourse, non-recourse? So just something to keep in mind. And not, not that that's important for the exam. It's kind of like a why, and it'll help you understand why we're looking at what we are. Now, if the partnership fails to repay the loan, the lender can go after the personal assets of partner A and partner B to recover the debt. Now, maybe there's a partner C and partner C is not liable, then partner C would not be on the hook for that. Just something to note. The implication here is that recourse liabilities increase a partner's tax basis and at-risk basis in the partnership, allowing them to claim a higher amount of losses, if any, on their tax returns. This is something that will be big when we get to partnerships, is understanding the impact of debt and liabilities on partnership basis. That's something that confuses a lot of people and it confused me back uh, when I first was taking the exam. Generally speaking, your basis is going to be increased by your skin in the game. So your tax, and we'll see this on the next slide, but just talking about it, your basis generally in something is what you put in. If I buy $10,000 worth of Apple stock, what's my basis in that stock? It's $10,000. If I contribute $10,000 to a partnership, then my basis in the partnership is $10,000. Now my at-risk basis, that also takes into account what I'm fully at risk to lose if the partnership, let's say, goes under. If I've got $10,000 of contributions in the partnership and $2,000 of recourse debt, if the partnership goes under, I lose my $10,000 investment, plus I'm on the hook for $2,000 of liabilities. So as such, your tax basis may be $10,000, but your at-risk basis is $12,000. And I know I'm really jumping ahead, right? We'll, we'll obviously dive into this much more. Non-recourse liabilities, simply put, it's the opposite here. No one's liable for it. This ends with the partnership. So if it's a non-recourse liability, if the partnership has nothing left to pay out to pay its debts, then no partners are liable. Either the bank or whoever it is cannot come after the individual partners. If the partnership defaults on the loan, the lender can only collect from the collateral, which is the partnership's assets. They cannot pursue the personal assets of any partner. This is very important. Just just memorize this here now. Memorize the difference. Memorize uh, what a recourse liability is, a non-recourse, and their implications. This is going to pop up a lot, so please, please just memorize this now. Uh, a partnership takes out a $100,000 non-recourse loan secured by the partnership's property, meaning if they go under, they default on the loan, then the bank, the creditor, the lender can come after the assets of the partnership. If the partnership fails to repay the loan, 
The lender can only collect from the property and cannot pursue the personal assets such as cars, houses, personal investment portfolios of the partners. The implication here is that non-recourse liabilities are going to increase a partner's tax basis, which again, we'll see tax basis and at-risk basis on the next slide in the partnership, but they don't affect their at-risk basis. Memorize that for sure. As a result, partners may have a higher tax basis, but their ability to claim losses on their tax return is still limited to their at-risk basis. Now, in summary here, recourse liabilities expose partners to personal liability, increasing both their tax basis and at-risk basis in the partnership, while non-recourse liabilities do not put partners' personal assets at risk and only increase their tax basis, leaving the at-risk basis unaffected. Super important point here. I realize I didn't really add too much humor to that slide. Uh, there wasn't too much to add there. Just a, little, a lot of straightforward, uh, important points to know for the exam. Make sure you know it. And you know what the humor will be is that you're going to do well in the exam because of this, and you'll be done with it sooner. You can laugh, have a good time with your friends. Hey there. Are you ready to not only pass your CPA exams, but truly understand and enjoy the material while studying? I know it seems impossible, right? Especially to enjoy the material. We'll do it together. Tap into the power of cpa.examprep.ai where we've got personalized quizzes, multiple choice questions, memorization guides, flashcards, simulations, all tailored to your learning. Our adaptive study planning puts you on the fastest path to success and lifts you back up if you fall behind. Avoid wasting your precious time and money attempting an exam with a low chance of passing because who wants that? We want to get you through this process as quick as possible. Our exam readiness prediction lets you walk in with confidence knowing that you're prepared for success on exam day. Thankfully, there's no payment method needed to get started. So why don't you come join us? Visit cpa.examprep.ai and let's achieve your exam success together.